Good morning. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I see you guys out there. How y'all doing? Having a great day? Do you know who you are? What day it is? You know you're special? There you go. We got another day. God has given us another day. Yes. Have little puffy clouds blowing above my home today. Little tiny puffy clouds. Little tiny ones. Birds are singing. I don't know if you can hear them or not. They're they're just a singing and all over the bird feeder. <laughs> Got my cup of coffee. And here comes Harry the cat. Harry, come on in. Come on in. Everybody's waiting on you, Harry. Come on. You want to come up here? I know. Well, come on. What you say about that? Huh? Well, you can come up here if you want to. Not enough room. <laughs> Not enough room. <laughs> I'm going to go into Connor's house. Okay, now I'm doing a video here, Harry. Harry, leave my yarn alone. Harry. Harry, stop playing with me. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be doing crocheting. She's going to be all tangled up here in a minute. <laughs> She's having a ball. <laughs> Too bad you can't see her. She's an old cat, but she still loves to play with yarn. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her or not, can you? I don't think you can. No. <laughs> She's just a playing with that yarn. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the little simple pleasures of life, right? <laughs> yes, I'm still working on you know what. <laughs> I'm putting yellow on it today. So I thought, okay, that'll work. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it's amazing. I just keep going, and pretty soon you created something. You don't know what, but you created something. <laughs> oh, but it's all right. It's all right. I like it, don't you? Do you like? You don't know, remember when we were. I can, well, I'll put it this way I won't claim y'all as guilty as I was. <laughs> But I can remember, you know, of course, you know, I was, I am a people pleaser. I don't know if I do it to please the people, my friends, my camaraderers, or to please me, or to please my God. I don't know. But I've always liked to make people happy. Now, is that called a people pleaser? You know, it's like you were in PTA or something. Well, here in the, with the U.S., it's called Parents Teachers Association, and where they work together, have meetings, and they talk about how the kids' programs are going or issues that are, go, you know, going with their students or, you know, all that. And they're always trying to raise money for playground equipment or new volleyballs or hopscotch chalk or something, you know. <laughs> and so if you're a part of that organization, of course you have to volunteer to do things, you know, like we're going to have a big bake sale. We need 25 dozen cookies or 15 pies. Well, I'm the kind of person I'd volunteer to say, I can do that. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm making 25 pies or 15 pies <laughs> and cookies. And I'm just, I mean, I'm just doing it. On top of a job, two kids, other things you're involved in. I am right there. <laughs> And all my grocery allowance is spent on flour and eggs. 
you know, and the house is a mess. And if you have to make cupcakes, you got to get cupcake up, cups. And then you got to figure out how to transport them. Then you go find a box, go to the grocery store, get your box, cut it down, you know. And then you got to figure out how to put them in your car all by yourself without dropping them. <laughs> or try not to eat one or so they don't bump and catch each other because you want them to be perfect. <laughs> oh, Lordy mercy. What were we thinking? What were we thinking? Now, if you've never had kids and you've never had to do anything like this, take a break. Because <laughs> you're one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I mean, count me in. I'll do it. Even at that old folks place I was living at, they had a big meeting, you know. What kind of programs do we need to do here? And they and I, I thought up to myself, I Tai Chi. I could teach Tai Chi, right? I said, yes, I could teach Tai Chi. Now, I can't teach Tai Chi. I can't hardly do it anymore. Can't stand up without falling down. <laughs> And yet I was volunteering. People asked me all kinds of questions. And then I had to renege and say, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was old. <laughs> but I mean, I really wanted to help out. I really wanted to be part of the, the rejuvenation, the programs, you know, because that's just the kind of girl I am. I will please somebody. Now, I don't know that I wanted to say thank you because then it embarrassed you. Oh, don't thank me, don't thank me. It was nothing, you know. <laughs> and then you get all, so always, no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's just part of what I do. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, my. Why did we do things like that? And, you know, up until last year, I was still, you know, yeah, I can do that. No problem. No problem. Yep. Count on me. I can do it. And I was driving a school bus. That's it. You take another load tonight? Sure, sure. I can do that. Have to call and rearrange for my kids. Call my husband. Get everything rearranged. What we're going to have for supper. So I can take these kids and, <laughs> that somebody else could have taken. You know, but I volunteered. So, I don't know. Some kind of motivation. I think it's running out on me right now. I mean, the motivation to please people. I do want to make people happy, though. Do you ever do that? Do you do these kinds of things? Or am I the only one? I must not be the only one. <laughs> Harry, leave my yarn alone. I'm trying to get my yarn... <laughs> I guess I'll sit to the side there while, while she continues to tangle my yarn up. Motivation. That's a big word, isn't it? Motivation to do something. Hmm. I mean, it's, I have to be motivated to wash dishes. <laughs> you know, and I feel good after washing dishes. Cleaning my counters off, vacuuming. Oh, yeah, I feel better. I'm motivated to make my surroundings very, very nice. On some days, I don't have any motivation. I don't even see the paper on the floor. I don't see dirty dish on the counter. <laughs> but some days, I'm motivated to do that. If my daughter's coming, okay, I'm motivated to straighten up a little bit, you know. My sister coming over, let me motivate. I'm motivated to clean up a little bit. Things need to be done, like return my CPAC, recall machine, the Fed, through FedEx, or them, you know. I'm motivated to do it because they said I had to do that promptly because of some kind of health warning. <laughs> I just put it out of recall on that CPAC machine. And I just continued to use it because I couldn't... <laughs> But I was motivated to put it in the mail. Yes, yeah, so my daughter picked it up this morning on after she brought me breakfast and some groceries and stuff and visited. We had a really nice time this morning. We were sharing a uh, an artist, a music artist that we 
both uh, appreciate. And we, I didn't know she liked the same artist I did. So that was quite refreshing. And she was telling me about some new movies and stuff, you know. Her life's still going and going and blowing. And through her, I experienced a lot of new current stuff, you know. She's going to bring me some um, seasonings. A bag of seasoning should be interesting to see what they are. And she also gets that where they send the the groceries to you or your menu and everything. One of those fresh food delivery things. And so the lot of things she gets is she might use, she may not use, or so it hands down to me. <laughs> so good that'll be a mon a monkey, a mama. <laughs> Maybe a monkey, too. I don't know. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing? Are y'all thinking these weird things like me? Are you getting motivated? No, it's Sunday. I guess we aren't be do anything but just chill. This is our day of rest. Sun shining. Had a good breakfast this morning. Did you have a good breakfast? Do you still read the paper? You know, I, I miss having a newspaper. Used to on Sunday mornings, you could prose through the paper, you know, just prose through the paper and you start with editorial. What's, what section did you used to start in? <laughs> Usually mine was like local news. That's the first thing I'm going to look at. And then I see who marries and who died. <laughs> and then I go through the sales papers. Woo, look here, look at all these sales papers. Woo. And you have them all around you, and you're going, yay, yay, and you're clipping cucumbers, and you're doing crossword puzzles, and, and kudo, or whatever those things were. <laughs> These papers were like a celebration of Sunday, you know, just, if you got no paper during the week, Sunday was the day you needed to get the paper. Of course, that's where all the ads are. Well, of course, then they went into Wednesday, too. But it's a, a, a celebration of, of knowing what went on while you were working and taking care of the house and yard and car and neighbors and, you know, doing things to get praises from PTA group or scout troops or whatever. Yeah, the newspaper was something that the whole family would get into, you know, the kids and everything. They... They'd get in playing with the paper, reading the paper, or coloring the comics that were already colored. <laughs> you know, just all kinds of things like that. It's funny how one thing like that can just bring a family together. I don't know if that happens today or not, does it? Did you ever read the paper like that? Or were you like me, just sort of consumed with it? I mean, I would take get in my car, go and get donuts... <laughs> That was before McDonald's. Get donuts, paper, and come home and celebrate. <laughs> and then cook big, you know, go to church, all that kind of stuff. But still, it was what we did. And then McDonald's opened. I can remember the first McDonald's. Oh, my goodness gracious. And it was like four miles away, which we were living in the country, so... I'd pack up those kids on Saturday morning, you know, on the way to bowling league. <laughs> those little kids, and we'd go to McDonald's, and we'd all get us something to eat or drink, soda pop or something. Then we'd all go to the bowling alley in Sherwood and bowl and, you know, watch the kids. They were just the junior deputies is what they were called. And, uh, then they would travel from city to city for bowling tournaments. It was a big thing back then, back in the 70s for the kids. And then you had to drag them to go to the grocery store. And then you had to, you know, have to get your washing done and, and uh, get everything prepared for the beginning of the new week. But Sunday, yeah, Sunday was different. You started out with some kind of donuts or something or... Or the big man of the house, he had to cook some big breakfast or something. And uh, we'd have that in the paper, newspaper or go to church. or The bus would come pick up the kids for church, you know. 
<laughs> Sunday school and oh my, things are so different. Now it's like, uh, no, mom, I don't want any pancakes this morning. No, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, all right, mom, okay. <laughs> I don't know how life is, really. You know, I haven't been in that. I guess we could call it a, a jaunt, well, a venue <clears throat> of how it is today. Television gives us some idea of it still. Motivation is key for everything we do. You know, even when you read a book, have you ever read a book and you say, now, what's motivating that character to be like that? What's motivating them? Is there some history I don't know about? Pretty soon you go through the book and some history starts coming and showing up. You know? Saying, oh, yes. This person is a great person, but all oh, the woes of stories they went through. Oh, my. Oh, woe, woe is them. And that's the way they are, the way they are. <laughs> they don't like blackbirds because long ago... They had a blackbird attack in their neighborhood right after Hitchcock told them. <laughs> oh, well, now I'm getting crazy. And that's it for today. <laughs> Nothing really. I'm going to try to get this yarn away from this cat, though. She's laid on it now. She's all tangled up in it. So I don't know whether to move her or not. Maybe I'll just enjoy my coffee. Good morning, everyone. And uh, best wishes to you. Let me have one sip of coffee with you. Mm. Remember, God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, our bumblebees, our caterpillars, our unicorns, butterflies. And for each other. Because we're all in this great big world together. I'll talk to you tomorrow.